hello so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this really cute crochet uh, bandana um, I made this one specifically for Valentine's Day which is why I used pink and white um, but you can change it up you can still use the same design and use any colors you want but yeah let's go ahead and get started so what you guys are going to need today is a five millimeter crochet hook you're going to need some scissors and then you're also going to need any kind of worsted weight yarn so i am personally using two colors like you guys saw before you can use one color you can use multiple colors you can use anything you want just make sure it is a four weight um this is some just acrylic yarn that i had laying around and then this is some cotton yarn so it does not really matter how much, what kind of yarn that you use. But um, to start off with this tutorial, I'm gonna be using pink. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to make a magic circle. So whenever I make a magic circle, I take the end of my yarn and I hold it in my left hand. After that, I'm going to take the long end of yarn and I'm going to wrap it around my fingers, over, under, and then when I come back up, I'm going to make an X. So after I've made my X, I'm going to take my hook, I'm going to slide it under the bottom yarn, which should be right here on your middle finger. Now I'm going to grab the yarn that's on top and pull it through. So after you've done that, you can take your fingers out and you should have a magic circle. So after I have my magic circle formed, I am going to chain three and that is going to count as a double crochet. I want a cluster of three, so I'm going to place two more double crochets into my magic circle. After I do that, I'm going to chain one, and then I'm gonna place three more double crochets into my magic circle. All right, so at this point, you should have two clusters of three double crochets in your magic ring. And that's all we're gonna do for our first row. So I'm going to take the loose end of my magic circle and tighten it up. And then I am going to be changing colors, so I would cut this off right here. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what you would do if you are not changing colors, okay? So if you are changing colors, just pause, and then I will get back to that in just one second. But if you're using the same yarn for the whole project, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain three and that is going to count as one double crochet. So I need a cluster of three. So I'm going to place two double crochets in my first one right here. Moving on to the middle, we're going to do the three double crochets in the tip. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna do three more double crochets. Okay, and to finish off the second row, if you're not changing colors, we're just going to place three double crochets in our last stitch available in the row. So one, there's three. So this is what you're gonna do if you're not changing colors. You're just going to continue doing this, turning, chaining three, putting three double crochets in the end, and you'll just continue on like that. All right, so back to 
right here, I am going to be changing colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my end off. Now I'm gonna grab my other color. And my second color is going to be white. So I'm gonna take my white, gonna make a slip knot, put that on my hook, and then I'm going to do pretty much the same thing that we did if we were not changing colors. So I'm going to be placing three double crochets into my first stitch in the row. So that's my first double crochet. So I'm going to do one, two, and three. In the tip of our triangle right here, I'm going to do three double crochets. And then I will chain one and do three more double crochets in that same spot. One, two, and three. After I do those three, I'm going to be placing three double crochets in our last stitch right here, just like we did on the other side. So that is one, two, and three. Perfect. So I'm going to change colors again, so I'm going to be cutting that off. And then I'm going to be going back to my pink. So I'm going to take my pink, make a slip stitch, put it on my hook, and then I will start at the end here. So I'm going to be placing three double crochets in the end. If you have noticed, this is just a traditional granny stitch pattern made in the shape of a triangle. It's kind of like half of granny square. So after we do the three in our end, we're going to do three in this space right here. That's one, two, and three. Now we're at the tip of our triangle, so we're gonna repeat the pattern. We're gonna do three. Three in the tip, I'm gonna chain one, and then I'm going to do three in the tip again. All right, and now I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did over here down the other side. So I'm gonna do three double crochets in this space right here. That's one, two, and three. And then I'm gonna do three double crochets in our last stitch right here. One, two, and three. So, from here on out, every row is really just going to be the same pattern. Um, so for this, we are going to need to do 10 rows. Right now I have one, two, three rows. So we're just going to follow this same pattern, doing three double crochets in the end, three double crochets in each space. At the tip of our triangle, we're gonna do the three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, all in the same stitch. Going down the other side, we're gonna do three in this space, three in this space, and then three on the end here. I'm gonna do this for a total of 10 rows, and then we'll come back and we'll do the edging on it. All right, I am back now. I did my 10 rows. Yep. And so this is what it should look like. I changed colors every row. Um, you can do the same color the whole time. You can have multiple colors in different rows like that. But um, now we're going to do the scalloped edge. So I'm gonna be using pink. And I'm going to take my pink, going to make a slip stitch, and I'm gonna slip that on my hook. Tighten it down. 
And then I'm going to start at the end here. I'm gonna put one single crochet into my first stitch. Next, I'm gonna go into this space here and I'm going to do seven double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's my seventh one. So after that, I'm gonna go into the next space and I'm gonna do a single crochet. After we do that single crochet, we're basically just going to repeat this until we get to the end. So on my next space, I'm gonna do my seven double crochets. And the space after that, we're gonna do one single crochet, next space, seven double crochets, single crochet, seven double crochets, back and forth, just until we get to the tip of our triangle right up here. Right, so the last one before the tip should be a cluster of seven. Five, five, six, and seven. That's right before the tip of our triangle. So in the tip of our triangle, I'm going to do one single crochet, and then I'm gonna do a pico. So for that, I'm going to chain three, and then we're gonna slip stitch right back into our single crochet. We're gonna go through the top of our stitch right here, through the top, and we're also gonna go through that piece of yarn right there. And we're going to slip stitch, slip stitch through all of the loops on our hook. After that, you should have a little tiny bobble at the end, and I'm gonna do one more single crochet to finish that off. It'll make this cute little thing at the end. And then I'm just going to be repeating what we did over here all the way down this side, so in the first space, after we just did our pico in the top, I'm gonna to be doing seven double crochets. Seven. Next space, single crochet. Next space, seven double crochets. Next space, single crochet, seven double crochets. And then this is just gonna repeat all the way down until we get to the very end. And you should be able to end exactly on the last stitch with a single crochet, just like how we started it. So it looks like I only have one space left, right? So in our last space, we're gonna do the seven double crochets. Okay, so after we've done our seven double crochets, all we need to do is place a single crochet in our last stitch. And that is it for the outside lining. Um, I'm going to cut this off here, and that is done for our bandana. Um, you should have all of these edges hanging off. That's if you change colors every row. If you didn't change colors, you won't have any ends. But, um, so what we need to do now is we need to tie them all off. And I will show you how to do that. I already did this side, but I'll show you how to tie those off. So, what I do is I just bring the two of them together. So I'm just gonna take this pink one and weave it 
through a little bit just so that it meets the white yarn. So now they are in the same spot. After they're in the same spot, I'm just going to tie them in a knot twice. Make sure it's nice and tight and then I will snip off the ends. So I'm going to do that with these two, these two, and then these two at the end are already right next to each other so I'll just tie those together twice and then cut it off. After, after you have cut off all of your ends, tied them up, you should just have a cute little triangle ready to go around your head. So um, it's gonna need straps. I am going to make my straps pink. So first thing we're gonna do is make a chain for the straps and this chain is gonna be 85 chains long. All right, after you have your 85 chains, make sure that you're on the front side of your triangle. This would be the front, this would be my back. And I'm gonna start on the right side. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be single crocheting across the bottom. So this chain of 85 is one of our straps. I'm just going to place single crochets all along the bottom wherever you can find a place to stick your hook is fine if it doesn't look good you can just undo a couple stitches and try them again but that is pretty much the idea So this is what it looks like so far. All right, so after you've done your single crochets all the way across the bottom of your triangle, we're just gonna make another chain of 85 on the other side so that you can tie it together around your head. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's my chain of 85. Now after I finish my chain, I'm going to cut off like two, maybe three inches of yarn so that we can finish off the end of our chain in a knot. So what I like to do to secure my end, I like to fold my end over so that it runs along my chain. And then after I've done that, I will take the end of my chain and tie it in a knot along with the, the end of our yarn. So after you've tied it in a knot and it's all secure, you can cut off the rest of this yarn. And then there's the end of your strap. And it's nice and secure and it will not unravel. I'm gonna do the same thing to the end of this one. I'm gonna take my end, fold it over, tie my chain in a knot. I try to make the knot as close as to the end as I can just because I think it looks better that way, but you can do it however you want. And after I've done that, cut that off and we're done. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you like this um, crochet bandana. It's perfect for Valentine's Day, really any time if you use different colors. It's so adorable, it looks lovely. If you guys liked my tutorial, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a, a thumbs up. 
if you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this, more tutorials, uh, sometimes I make crochet vlogs, sometimes I make yarn hauls, you know, just anything crochet or knitting related is kind of my forte, so. All of my social media, my Instagram, my TikTok, my um, website, that is all gonna be linked down below if you're interested. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you make this, go ahead and tag me. I would love to see your creations. Bye.